In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add a new layer to Photoshop. So guys, like I just said there in the intro, we're going to be adding a new layer to Photoshop and that is very easy to do and something that is essential to learning the software. When editing photos in Photoshop, you can add different layers to the photo like text layers or for example right here I have a PNG logo of Final Cut Pro over my background photo which is just a screenshot of Final Cut Pro and now what I want to do is add text to this photo but we must create a new layer before I do that now I just wanted to let you guys know right off the bat I do not add text within Photoshop I have another app on my iPad that has all these different fonts and Honestly, it's just super easy to type up the text and add it. So I don't normally do this, but for the sake of this example, I'm going to do it because it's a thing that you might need to do in Photoshop. And what I mean by that is, you know, adding text or different elements to your photo. So let's get into it before I talk your ear off. We're going to go down to the corner here and right here, there is a plus symbol with a square. If you select that, that creates your new layer. And with that new layer, now I can add different elements like text. So I can drag this out here and um, I can type in Final Cut Pro Tutorial. And this is just an example. I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to uh, do this in my app. But as you can see here, the layer has transitioned to a text layer. So no matter what you do, if I if I drew like a circle on here and then cut out the inside of the circle, that would be this layer that I just created, the top layer. And you can also move layers around. So I can drag this layer below the PNG layer. Now watch this, if I drag the background layer over all of them, well, it actually doesn't let me do that. Maybe I have to unlock it. So yeah, I unlocked it. Now if I drag the bottom layer over all the other layers, it covers the text and it covers the logo because now that background layer is on the top. So that just shows you how these layers work. Um, and it's very easy to make that mistake that I just did and be like, where did all my layers go? But I just wanted to show you guys that. But anyway, guys, I hope that was a nice, quick and easy tutorial on Photoshop for you. And I hope that you learned something new. And if you did, definitely hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also make sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up because that will help it rank higher in the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.